The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge announced last year that Prince George and Princess Charlotte will have a new sibling. Kate is now around six months pregnant. Speculation has been rife about whether the Duchess is expecting a boy or a girl, with Kensington Palace remaining predictably tight-lipped on the details. However, William has jokingly revealed a small detail about Kate's pregnancy as he spoke to guests at a charity event last night. The prince followed in the footsteps of his late mother Princess Diana as he attended the Centrepoint Awards at Kensington Palace, which celebrates the achievements of young people who have overcome homelessness. In a lighter moment William joked with one of the guests about the forthcoming addition to his family, as wife, he said, two is fine, I don't know how I'm going to cope with three, I'm going to be permanently tired, later the Duke told Raymond Stoner, boss of Anston Properties, our third child is due in April, I'm getting as much sleep as I can, when Mr. Stoner told him he could save time by having twins, Will replied, twins, I think my mental health would be tested with twins. Earlier this year Princess Charlotte began her first day of nursery Wilcox Nursery School, while Prince George attends Thomas's Battersea, in South London, Mr. Stoner said, I gave him a little message for his darling wife, twins save time, William and Harry's children visited a number of Centrepoint's hostels with Diana who served as patron of the charity before her death in 1997, helping the homelessness was a lesson, Princess Diana tried to instill in her sons from an early age. Speaking at a charity commission AGM earlier this year, William added, I remember being taken by my mother to a homelessness shelter at a young age, her explaining to me why the people I met there matter, why no society can be healthy unless we take other people seriously. After presenting the Centrepoint Awards on Thursday night, William said that he disappointed and frustrated at how the lives and futures of the UK's young people are still threatened by homelessness in one of the world's richest countries, the Duke said. More than ever, Centrepoint is reaching our society's most vulnerable, through its hostels, its partner charities and the Centrepoint helpline. A year ago, I heard just one of thousands of calls that have since been made to this vital service, which is helping young people take the first step towards a place of safety. However, for me, tonight is one of sharply contrasting emotions. Soon Centrepoint will be 50 years old. I feel immense pride in all Centrepoint has accomplished in that time, but with it, disappointment and frustration. Frustration that in one of the most prosperous countries in the world homelessness is still putting the lives and futures of our young people at risk. Thank you for watching.